This is the third time we've tried to do this freaking devotional, <laughs> and I've harbored a little bit of unforgiveness mm. for the person next to me. So what right did now, I do? Right now, I just I'm just a color commentator. I, I am choosing this moment to forgive her. Do you want to know why? why? I'll tell you why. Because Mark 11:22 through 25 says, "Then Jesus said to the disciples, Have faith in God. I tell you the truth. You can say to this mountain, May you be lifted up and thrown into the sea, and it will happen. But you must really believe it will happen, and have no doubt in your heart." I tell you, you can pray for anything, and if you believe that you've received it, it will be yours. But it doesn't end there. No, it doesn't. It says, but when you're praying, first forgive anyone who you're holding a grudge against. So that your Father in Heaven will forgive your sins too. See, you can't overlook that because the but here will cancel everything out that was said before that. Yeah, like so, you never want to hear but, you know? Right. It's, it's you're like, pretty, I love but. you, but. <laughs> You don't want to hear that. When the Word of God says, but when you're praying, see that that it starts off there. When you pray, you first have to forgive anybody who you're holding a grudge against. Why? Because it says right here, first forgive anyone you're holding a grudge against so that your Father in Heaven will forgive your sins too. Major! Like in the spirit, that should be like a red flag, like for, for some of y'all. Because Where's I have you? heard 35 years of marriage. You know how many times I've forgiven him? I just can't forgive him one more time. In 1973, mm -hmm. um, he stepped on my toe. I was actually gonna bring up something. <laughs> no, I know you were. You just let, put it away. Okay. And not only will these will unforgiveness withhold the blessing of God from your life, but unforgiveness will cause wrinkles. What? Because Wait. no, it's so true. Like if you sit in a church, you can spot all the people that have unforgiveness. That's a fact, actually. You know, You're right. it makes there you is old. like um like a physical. I, I can't. There's no scripture on this. No, there? There no. Isn't. But there's a physical something that happens when you hold bitterness, and really, it makes you ugly. It 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 also harboring that that hatred and that bitterness. It can cause health problems. Sure like can. it really really It'll can. Take you to the grave so fast. It's not even funny. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, for many people, you're gonna get to heaven and miss heaven because you didn't forgive. Something so stupid as like Diane, she knew I was cooking, making cookies yeah. and she made the chocolate chip cookies too. How dare she? How dare she? And so they hold grudges because of a church bake sale. It's so the most silly. ridiculous so thing silly. in the whole wide world and they'll miss heaven for it. It's not a, a light matter. Well, well, so you're saying you can go to hell for unforgiveness? Yes. That's exactly what I'm saying. The Bible says it as well. Matthew 6, 14 through 15. For if you forgive others their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Can't get any more clear, folks. You need to forgive or else you're gonna go to hell. I mean, it can't be any more clear. I mean, let's just call white, white, and black, black. If you don't forgive, you're gonna go to hell. I so, see, I maybe. Don't color. I don't see color. <laughs> for all the viewers out there, I don't well, see color. Well, yeah, well, yeah, Ada, for this matter. So, you have to, you have to make it the first priority. If you felt a check in, I know you did, you right there. You felt a check in uh -oh. your spirit. Uh -oh. You said, uh oh, I didn't like that time when Mary did this, and I've been holding on to it for about two and a half years. Or, you know what, my husband, he, he, he left me to go with his boys to Buffalo Wild Wings when he knew that I wanted to watch that Patriots game and I still hate him for it. I mean, really, it could be as simple as that. The Holy Spirit will quicken you into that very moment where you release that bitterness and like held that grudge, but you have to let go of it because it is a matter of life and death. I hate to put it that way, but it's what the Bible says. And you have to make sure that you get rid of that today. Practically like speaking, this is just kind of like, does the person that held the grudge make it right with the other person? I think you just have to do it right before the Lord because if, if you're right before the Lord, the red carpet doesn't need to be rolled out and you don't have to come into this whole thing about, you know, I, I did this wrong. If it makes you feel better, if the Holy Spirit is telling you to do it, then do it. Be sensitive to the Holy Spirit. But if there's things in your heart that you've just harbored and the other person has no idea about it, just, sure. just let it go and just get right before the Lord. Just ultimately be sensitive to the Holy Spirit and if you need to ask for forgiveness from whoever 
whoever it is, then do it. And if it's something that you just have to let it go and move forward, because on the day of reckoning, you don't wanna have that on your head, that you didn't uh, follow through with that forgiveness because it's really, it, it's, it'll cripple your, your eternity, your walk with God, everything. It all starts from right there. If you're holding unforgiveness in your heart, make it a point today to forgive whoever that is that you've held that bitterness and resentment against and do us all a favor and put it in the sea of forgetfulness. Don't be that person that says, I yes. forgive you, honey. But 15 years down the road, be like, do you remember? Do you remember when you did that? Do you remember? Don't do it. Don't do it. Put it in the sea Don't of forgetfulness. Be that yes. Just like God has removed your transgression. He doesn't even, as far as the east is from the west, that's, that's how, how far he has removed your transgressions from us. Thank you. thank you. That just that really was, put it you. over the edge. Yes. I want to thank you for thank that. You for that. Thank you. Good. If you make the conscious effort uh, to completely just forget Eradicate about it, don't don't thoughts. bring it up, don't dwell on it any longer, just really let go of that. And that's for all of you newly married people too. Okay? Don't be don't be writing things down and saying like, you know what? Let me just write this down because I'm gonna forget that time that he didn't hold the door for me when we were walking into Walmart mm -hmm. or whatever it was. Um, Real and love then doesn't give a record of wrong. Somebody. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So if you are like that sensitive where you're just looking um, to bring something up from the past, you know, uh, constantly just trying to figure out what what kind of bomb you can drop in the next argument that you have. Uh, this one's for you. You gotta let go of that. Don't remember it. Put it in the sea of forgetfulness. Don't bring it up because if you bring it up again, you never really forgave. And I know I'm talking to somebody here. If you're gonna forgive them, then forgive them. Yeah. That's it, and move forward. Now, if that's you, shut this thing off. Shut it off and get into your prayer closet and ask God to forgive you of holding any kind of grudges and resentment and actively choose right now to forgive whoever it is you're holding a grudge against. God bless. Peace. Deuces.